Okay, welcome to Gaming with Devin. We on part two of Detroit Become Human. We're gonna continue from where we left off from yesterday. I'll be right back. Hold on. Sorry about that. Had to go. Had to go to the bathroom. Let's get into it. Look what we left off from yesterday. Party much. How old is he? What the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. <laughs> yeah, I think you're probably right about that. They're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink with the excitement. This whole thing has made me thirsty. This door. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm all enough to choose my medication. Hey, that man say he can kiss my Hey. That man say he can do what he want to do, man. He don't care if nobody says. Did say. you leave the light on in the studio? No, 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 I'm, I'm sure, sure I didn't. didn't. Call the police. Somebody broke in. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Man, he in a wheelchair. What are you going to do? Let's go check it out. More like I'm gonna be the one doing it. Let's see. Oh, uh, they look like Leo. Son. his son broke in. What are you his doing? House? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Well, his son is broken. Get him out of here. 
And I gotta fight a son. I'm not reasoning with Lodro again. Listen to your father. You need to leave now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's he got that I can leave him alone? Come on, let's see what you got. Keep on, I'm gonna bust you up. Don't defend yourself. You hear me? Man, don't defend myself. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Uh, oh Dude, my man. god. I'll rock this dude, boy. I promise you. Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy! Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just gonna fight back, you fucking bitch! Oh, yeah, he about to snap. Same thing that happened yesterday with the girl. Dang. Why every time somebody get pushed, they almost die or they do die? I barely even push them. Leo. The guy was oh a drug God. head anyway. <sighs> it probably did him some justice. Leo. He probably needed to die. He had obviously had an addiction. Carl, I... Well, things happened. The guy They'll destroy came in you, starting. Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Go. I have nowhere to go. Carl, you're all I have. Get out! Now! Go! Uh-oh. Marcus! Don't fucking move! Intense. Starting to get intense now. Why'd you kill her? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. Hey man, say you could keep trying to apply answers out of him. I don't want to answer. We're wasting our time interrogating the machine. We get nothing out of it. Shit ain't gonna talk on this one. After all, it's not human. Shit, he was just Andrew defending himself. You would only damage it. <clears throat> That, that probably don't count for him since he's a, a machine, so also nobody have a cares. To self -destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I can try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. An android question and android. Nice. He's pretty good. Even though he did kind of rat him out yesterday. Told him don't tell him he was there. He snitched. <laughs> uh, analyze you first. Is messed up. Okay. 
Okay. Carlos, main property of Carlos Ortiz. I think that's the guy he killed yesterday, his owner. Signs of software, instability, probably of self destruction. No. Hey, that guy's beating the mess out of him with that bat. Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. So his owner been abusing him. That's why he snapped and just killed him. Reach optimal stress for confession. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Oh my god, bro. Listen. Talk, man. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. You don't seem to understand the situation. Okay, let's get a little bit more aggressive. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. I gotta be aggressive with this guy. Don't, please don't do that. Obviously, he don't know how to talk all of a sudden. What? What are they gonna do to me? I got an idea what they're gonna do to you. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you followed me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Shoot, I'm just being straightforward with him. Then talk to me. I... I like how they give you the option. You can lie, or you can just be straightforward. I think the best approach with him, based off of his character, is just to be straightforward. Twenty-eight stabs. Yeah, I'm going in hard on buddy. I'm sorry. Did you feel anger? Because I tried to sympathize with him before. He was bleeding. He wouldn't talk to me, so. Begging you for mercy. Now I gotta play bad cop. But you cop. stabbed him. Again and again and again. Please. Please leave me alone. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please. Please stop. Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Just say you killed him. Just say it. Now we're getting somewhere. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first At least time we know he's telling the truth, because yesterday we analyzed that whole crime scene. Scared. <clears throat> Everything he's saying is scared definitely true. So. Destroy me, scared I might die. He's a so robot. Why would he be scared to die? They're not even. They don't have souls or anything. I, him in the stomach. I felt better, so I stabbed him again and again. He felt stress relief. Him killing him was basically just rage. Mm. 
Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. I kind of figured he was scared yesterday. But if you so killed somebody, does the crime happen 19 days? And we had just found it. This guy been dead for 19 days already. So he hid in the attic for 19 days. What does it represent? That's how you know he was scared. It's an offering. Usually when you kill somebody, you ain't gonna stay at the crime scene. That's crazy. Why did you write, I am alive on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. Yeah, you kinda are. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. I feel like no it's going to be a rebellion of robots like no him. More humiliation. Told you this is kind of like this I robot thing we going on here. Be the masters. Robots trying to take over. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. What is RA9 like the Jesus Christ of robots? RA9. Who is RA9? When did you start feeling emotion? And it's just like our robot. That's exactly what happened on there. Robots start feeling emotion oh, like a human. It, it wants to be a human, but it doesn't realize it's a robot. Can't be a human. Anger. Hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. This robot's pretty good at uh, interrogating. And hostage negotiation. I like this one. RK800. I like him. Hey, he know how to get it out you. He like, hey, say it too much. Fuck? It's destroying itself. Self destruct. Stop it, goddammit! Damn, you need that stop strong? That's enough. You need to stop that right now. You're trying to kill yourself. Watch out! Oh! Holy wow. Shit. Dang. Just when I started to like that guy, and then he gets killed. Okay, why kill me? <laughs> I ain't had, man, I'm sitting here doing my job. He gonna kill me? He probably thought I was on the human side so much. Maybe I pushed him too hard in the interrogation. And the cop, come on, man. How you let the, the robot take your gun like that? That kind of made me think he never was trying to kill himself. That was just a distraction to get that man. So he can shoot him and then kill himself. Wow. But it's a robot. They can just fix it, reprogram it, and erase the memory. And yeah, be like a whole new person. Pretty sure that's what they're going to do. I don't think we've seen the last of RK800. Alright. And the line. And the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Wake up. We have to go. So they're just gonna sit on the bus and ride around. They ain't got nowhere to go. Definitely can't go back home. Uh, 
Okay, so it ain't my job to take you out of there. I ain't no caretaker. Now they gotta find, now we gotta find shelter. Okay? Need to sit in the rain. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Here. I'm surprised her dad hasn't called the cops. So he probably gonna switch the whole story around. Oh, that robot tried to, it, it, it just snapped. It attacked me and tried to kill me and he already know he gonna switch the story up. Y'all look at the uh, stream from yesterday, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Her dad snapped. He was trying to beat that little girl to death. But luckily for me, I saved her. Okay, what are our tasks? Check house, return. Found shelter, okay. But why did the little girl walk away from me? Okay, I'm not so cold. Now you know you go. Lost. Oh Lord. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Oh, that's tight. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. They completely disappeared. I think we're just gonna have to tough it out, find a cardboard box or something, or breaking a breaking a building or something. She gotta do what you gotta do. Why does the little girl keep pulling away? I don't understand it. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, what's over here? Sleep in an abandoned car. That seems like our best bet. Better than being in the rain. Gotta do what you gotta do. Little girl, get over. What's up, I need to analyze over here. What was it? Generator. But does it work? Get inside of car. It looks abandoned. Right Stand back, Alice. We got shelter for now. No, this car looks super dirty. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? Man. Nah. We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. It's just for like we should walk around while it's raining outside and man, we just found shelter. This probably gonna have to do for now. Ain't be picky. Why didn't he ever love me? 
Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. Your dad was just crazy. That's why he was always so angry. That man was on something. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll never go. I'm sitting there looking at that. We'll be together forever. Uh, forever. <laughs> not really, but that's just what the game say. <laughs> so now we're homeless and on the run. In a raggedy car. But at least we're out in the rain. It seems like in each story, the robots are reaching their limits. Like, they're just, I don't know. It's like each story, each robot has just it's gotten to a certain limit to where it just can't take it anymore. They break out of that shell. Like they're trying to get out of that, you know. It's like it's only so much they can take. Systems in low power mode defective. Missing, unable to stand. Damn, what they did to me? I ain't got no leg, no eye. I can't hear. Jesus. All this over a freak accident. I was supposed to know the boy was gonna fall and hit his head on the corner and die. You know, it's just a freak accident. <clears throat> At least I found a compatible leg. parts I need is right here in front of me. Can't use that. Incompatible. I think this is where they throw all the bad robots at. Yeah, 
steps so bad though. See if he got something we can use. Dang, incompatible. Basically, I'm just, I'm about to survive just off of spare parts, <coughs> off of these other dead robots. for our ears and I can hear. Just need everything to just plug in. I might go into the game store. Get everything you need. Found to get all the right parts. Get that over here. That looks compatible. Yes.
Ez a két múlva. Well, I'm not gonna find that yet. First set up, cool. Hello. Yes, I'm, I'm taking you out. I was assigned to serve you. What can I do? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest cyberlife maintenance Parts we need <coughs> should be no problem to get up here now. Before we do anything, we have the right parts. Oh my god, I did it. 